Are you looking to unlock the power in your life to have the most abundant life? And you all know that when you are in that oneness energy, that one team, that one marriage, you are special in your own way. You are your own brand of Daisy and your own brand of Snowflake. Hello. Are you looking to unlock the power in your life? to have the most abundant life, to have joy, to be a part of a positive community and to be putting out positive energy into the world. Or maybe you are just having a bad day and you just need a little pick me up. Join me here. I would love to have you. Because over here, we're going to be doing various things on positivity. We're going to do prayers for the world. We're going to be doing different types of books. Like right now, we are working through Florence Scovel Shin. And I haven't decided yet. Our next works might be Joseph Murphy, but also looking at some of Napoleon Hill. I mean, it's just going to be a wonderful, positive time. So if you are looking to uplift your life, you are wanted here. This is the call to action. Join me, join me, join me in the fun. And if you're just looking to be a positive positron in the world, right here is where it's at. We are connecting heart and mind aligned. We are holding our little heart and hands and our mind hands and our energy hands. And we are in the middle of all the things going on. We are holding for the brightest future together. And so one thing at a time. So I want to join you and I want you to join me. All right. So what we have been doing here, we have just been holding Maui. So much has been happening on Maui. There are just so many levels of grief, mourning, trauma, um, different news each day. Where are the children? Emergency proclamation. So it's from the, the most, you know, it's down to like loss of, you know, we've lost so many beautiful people, multi-generations, we've lost homes, we've lost businesses. And this Lahaina was where our first capital of the Hawaiian kingdom was before it was moved to Oahu. There is major mana, major energy there. It is, Maui is the heart of the planet. It comes right out through the Egyptian pyramids. I mean, there is no part on this world that isn't, you know, part of the whole, isn't important. But there's areas that we know that have higher energy vibrations. We have Kilauea erupting and all these different things. So we are been just holding Maui. We open in prayer, holding Maui. But I would just like you to also add wherever on the planet that you are called to it is so beautifully amazing it seems like the whole planet has been just coming to uplift and love on maui in these difficult times so i just want to thank you thank you thank you i just want to express so much gratitude whether you are praying or meditating in the stillness imagining you are donating whatever you are doing you know there's tons of families to support and there's amazing things to be done and it's not a sprint it's a marathon so there'll be many things to be that'll be needed as we go through this whole process so i want to hold maui as we open but also if there's any other places in your heart worldwide let's just open in prayer with hearts and minds aligned Let's believe for the better, positive outcomes for everyone. And we just know there are many, many souls and ancestors and our Creator looking down upon us, loving on us through this time. So just ground down. We welcome in the angels. open up our crowns and we just open our hearts and minds aligned we just open to the beautiful possibilities and that whatever is needed may it be supplied okay so let's
let's just open Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. And though while we're just maybe holding 30 to 40 seconds, I know many of you are doing much more time in your alone time, but just continue to see us connected, heart and mind aligned as one, feeling and thinking and imagining and praying for the best possibilities for all of mankind, for all of animal kind, for all of the heavens and all of the earth. We are very, very powerful in what we think and our imaginings. We are very, very powerful in our wills, in our hearts and minds aligned. When we come together to do something, things are gonna get done. So don't count yourself out. Pull yourself towards your bigger purpose, your dreams, your goals, your visions, your acts of service, and your purposes. You matter. Each and every one of you needs to do your part. You are special in your own way. You are your own brand of daisy and your own brand of snowflake. And nobody can quite do what you came to do. So we are going to be, today, we are going to be unlocking some magic in the marriage area. And we will also be doing some affirmations on forgiveness. We're gonna be hitting up some affirmations. So, would you like to unlock some positive things in your marriage? Well, we are on your word is your wand marriage. So here we go. Unless marriage is built upon the rock of oneness, it cannot stand. Two souls, but with a single thought, two hearts that beat as one right and that's actually what we are doing we are in a type of marriage we are marrying our hearts and minds our auras our energies our prayers our meditations our imaginations our stillness our spiritual warfare we are marrying these up so that we can help one another raise the quotient for healing, for healthy marriages, for healthy families, for love, for abundance, for money. We will be unlocking a lot of the keys to all of these things. And one of the most important things is feeling it, feeling the feeling of joy or feeling the feeling of abundance and then walking boldly in that direction holding that belief release your faith release your spoken word and walk boldly so today we're doing this marriage unless marriage is built upon the rock of oneness it cannot stand two souls but a single thought and two hearts that beat as one yes a poet understood this for unless a man and a wife are living the same thoughts or living in the same thought world, they must inevitably drift apart. Now, when you watch relationships, right? When you watch, so they say like the family that prays together stays together. Very, very true. What, when a family is united, so let's say you need to fix the house. You want to have the whole family doing their part in fixing the house. Let's say that you are uh, cleaning the house. Everybody has their role from sweeping or could be as big as installing shelves, whatever it is. Everybody has a part to play. And you all know that when you are in that oneness energy, that one team, that one marriage, that one group working towards that one goal, it, there is a synergy and a joy and an energy because you know you are closing in on your task. Like somebody winning a national championship in any sport, whether it's 
hockey, basketball, gymnastics. There is this building till you get to that point of being in that winning point. And great sacrifice has been made, great discipline. And so we want to be in that marriage of thought, all moving. And if we're not, that's when you start to see the family fall apart or the marriage fall apart or the team fall apart, the group fall apart. That's why uh, in a marriage, the husband and wife are so important. In a team, the coach is so important. In a workplace, maybe you're a nurse, the head nurse, the charge nurse is very important because they steer the ship. If you got a hundred patients barreling down on you, you got to know how to triage and where to put patients so that the ones that need the greater attention get it. And so we want to have that one thought and that one mind, two hearts beating as one in the marriage. Okay. So, and in our marriage, we are looking for joy. We are looking for abundance. Not only are we going to be abundant, but we're going to bless others. We are looking for health. We are unlocking healing, not just for ourselves, but for others. You could be a major conduit for healing for others through holding that space. So we have established the thought must be congruent and we must not drift apart. So thought is a tremendous vibratory force and man is drawn to his thought creations. So in a marriage, what are you creating? Are you creating joy? Are you creating great meals? Are you creating like I have the most amazing daughter-in-laws who create these amazing uh, dinners and game nights and all these things like, wow right? You're looking at this creation, that thought form. Okay, what are we going to create in this marriage, in this life, in this team, in this group, in this channel, right? What are we creating? So our thought is a tremendous vibratory force, right? So let's use it for the good. For example, so you know what's coming next story. A man and woman married and were apparently happy. The man became successful and his taste improved, but the wife still lived in a limited consciousness. So she, she didn't upgrade her mindset, her, her consciousness, her lifestyle, okay? So whenever the man bought anything, he went to the best shops and selected what he needed regardless of price. Whenever the wife went out, she haunted the five and 10 cent stores. So this book kind of dates you, right? Five and 10 cent store. Then, to, so that we now have dollar stores, but back in our days, it was like also Woolworths, right? And then Walmart and dollar stores, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, it tells you a little bit, the five and 10 cent stores. So he was living in thought on Fifth Avenue. Ooh, and she, her thought world was on Third Avenue to very, so from Third to Fifth Avenue to very different lifestyles, right? Eventually the break and separation came. Okay, so I'm just wanting to say, do not be discouraged. If you are catching, if this is catching you and making you awaken maybe, and you may, maybe need to like retrain your consciousness or you need to direct yourself in the direction of a positive marriage this is your red flag just start working in the positive direction so eventually the break and separation came we see this so often in the cases of rich and successful men who desert their faithful hard-working wives later in life ah that sucks the wife must keep pace with her husband and keep her husband's taste and ambitions and live in his thought world. So recreate yourself. Think kind of like Madonna, right? Recreation. For where a man thinketh in his heart, there he is. Oh, wow. Okay, so all you ladies out there, listen. A wife must keep pace with her husband's taste. So pick a good husband and ambition and live in his thought world. And a good man will want to provide, profess, protect, and do these things from his heart, right? So we have these great husbands and we live in their great thought world. For where a man thinketh 
in his heart there is he so this is just something but i one there's a one man that i really admire as a husband is brian scott from the rally revolution he loves and adores his wife nancy she is stunning not only outside she is beautiful gorgeous but inside she is an amazing artist she's an amazing healer and she just has a heart i can't even explain to you she's just a beautiful person and when she takes you in your arms and holds you you really feel the maternal instincts of the universe just covering you with healing power well they have the most beautiful marriage. It's the synergy where she helps him and he helps her. And it's like they have this one thought. They do like art together. They do business together. They support each other. And when I see that, it just inspires me to continue to hold for that positive relationship of love, marriage, abundance, wealth, everything. So if you need to think about a man with good taste or you need to find somebody find your marriage or find your relation that you aspire to somebody that you have found to have a beautiful marriage and you know we of course life happens people fart right and you gain weight sometimes and you lose weight sometimes or you have hard days but that's what the marriage is about you are bonded and you lift each other and carry each other through these things so anyway i just wanted to say that i think he is a wonderful husband and i think she's a wonderful wife and together they are ruling the world and they are just in love with life and that's where we're going this is what this is about we want to love our lives but we also we have the god particle in us we want to magnify and glorify god through what we do your life matters everything that you are matters everything that you do matters your thought carries this strong vib vibrational force use it for good i felt you using it for maui and the world and i'm telling you those little prayers and meditations that we do are going to unlock portals of goodness for so many people and our encouraging time on in this channel it's going to unlock and uplift so many people if you're down in the dumps keep coming here because the answers will come or the positive energy will flow you will get off the floor and you will get on the dance floor of life and you will do this thing okay so there is for each person his or her other half or divine selection these two are one in their thought worlds one in their thought worlds so we are in a type of marriage and we are in this thought world of positivity bringing forth our dreams goals visions acts of service purposes we are not just sitting and meditating we are also imagining and we are also taking action so we are in this one mind of uplifting the world positively encouraging the world loving one another and all things that are good and for that many many blessings will be poured upon you so yeah yes so these are the two whom god has joined together and no man shall or can part asunder the twain shall be made one for the superconscious mind of each is the same divine plan oh my god praise god right you know it when you see it you know it when you feel it and it is the most amazing union so the affirmation to unlock the power in our marriages here we go i give thanks that the marriage made in heaven is now made manifest upon earth Woo! okay so so let me tell you whether you're single you're engaged you're married or you you are vintage married this affirmation is still the bomb here we go i give thanks that the marriage made in heaven is now made manifest on earth 
Now, you know what an incredible, beautiful thing? In the Bible, it says we are all the bride of Christ. So there's another marriage. When you look at it, you are married to so many things. So take a peek at that. What are you married to in your work? What are you married to in your YouTube channel? What are you married to in the movies you watch, etc.? And look at what that is. Is it part of the divine plan? Are you maximizing who you are? Because we need you maximizing who you are, giving the gifts that only you can give. Okay, one more time. I give thanks that the marriage made in heaven is now made manifest on earth. Yes. Do you feel it? Yes. And we are not afraid of elbow grease. We know we have to do some work at it, but it is one of the greatest acts of service and union that we can do that will bear so much beautiful fruit for all those around us. And as the Bible says, you, they will know us by our fruit. So may our fruit be delicious. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and here we go. Last one, or the last, I, it's an affirmation. Here we go. The twain shall be made one now and for all eternity. The twain shall be made one now and for all eternity. Oh, I don't know, that just touches me when I think of my parents, or I think of my children, or I think of Brian Scott, and I think of my friends I know with beautiful marriages. Pastor Debbie, Pastor Tammy, Cindy, <laughs> okay God man, ah oh, there's so many of you, Tina, okay, the twain shall be made one, now and for all eternity, the twain shall be made one now and for all eternity. These are beautiful words to live by. Florence Scovel Shin, we thank God for you. Okay, well, we're going to go into, would you like to unlock the power of forgiveness? We're gonna be going into a whole bunch of affirmations in our next video. Now, affirmations are so positive because they can actually course correct and put you in the right direction. You're still going to have to do things on your heart and mind align. You're still going to have to work on your imaginings and feelings. And you're still going to have to work on your prayers, meditations, stillness, and getting into this, this secret place of the Most High, that still place. But you're worth it. That's why we're here. We're here to do this thing. Life is a beautiful gift from God. And we want to live it. So I want to thank you so much for joining me. Of course, please like subscribe and leave your positive comments i would love to hear how blessed your marriages are what's going on in your neighbor neighborhood how are you unlocking the power of your marriage i want to hear it in the comments but thank you so much for joining me i am so grateful for each and every one of you and i am praying for each and every one of you and know that you matter and until next time May you be in and at peace. Thank you.